So first, I would like to present the introduction of technical analysis. So what is technical analysis? Technical analysis is a technique used to forecast the stock market movement activity by analyze the past market price, historical data, and the volume of stock trend pattern to help the traders and investors to make profitable decisions. For technical analysis, in this group assignment, we using the chart analysis to analyze the technical analysis on five Sharia compliance stocks from five famous uh, companies that based in Malaysia, which is Dash Lady Industry Berhad, Ajinomoto Malaysia Berhad, Busa Malaysia, Tenaga National Berhad, and Petroleum National Berhad. Next, for the technical analysis indicator, we use seven types of technical analysis indicator which is simple moving average, SMA, Bollinger Bands, moving average converse divergence, MACD, rate of change, ROC, relative strength, indicator RSI, stochastic and evolute indicator on the chart. Direct goods are manufactured and distributed by Dutch Lady Make Industry Berhad. The company was established in 1963 and has its headquarters in Petaling Jaya, Malaysia. The brands that are used to sell its product in the market such as Dutch Lady, Dutch Baby, Freezer Lake, Freezer Gold and also Dutch Lady Pure Farm. There are five indicators for Dutch Lady company. For the first one is simple moving average is higher than the share price as shown in the graph above. In a bearish scenario, investor must sell the stock in order to get more profit. The second one is Bollinger Bank. A selling signal was generated on 17 January 2023 when the Bollinger Bank was higher than the share price. If the investor want to make more money, they should sell their stock. The third one is moving average convergence divergence line is above the signal line. This is a show buying signal. Next, we move to the rate of change as on the chart. The rate of change is below than zero. It means the stock of Dutch Lady Company oversold and show buying signal. For the last one is the relative strength index is typically regarded as overbought when it rises above 70% and oversold when it falls below 30%. The relative strength index is below 30% which means oversold and show buy signal for the investor on 17 January 2023. Next, we move to the recommendation of the Dash Lady company. There are three out of five stocks which are moving average coverages, challenges, rate of change, rate, relative strength in debt that indicate a buying signal based on the analysis above. According to Yahoo Finance, Dash Lady make industry perhaps may be sending bullish signal right now with a price to earning ratio of 7.6 times. This is because nearly half of all companies in Malaysia have price to earning ratio greater than 14 times and price to earning ratio higher than 24 times are not uncommon. As a result, in order to obtain future financial gain, the investor must purchase the stock. Next, we move to the Ajinomoto Malaysia Berhad is one of consumer product and services industry. Ajinomoto Malaysia Berhad started conducting business in 1961 as a manufacturer of Ajinomoto Monosodium Glutamate. It is one of the earliest Ajinomoto company opened in Malaysia from Japanese businesses. Since then, Ajinomoto company has developed into a dynamic maker of food and seasoning that the brand is trusted and famous among consumers in Malaysia. There are five indicators for the Ajinomoto company. For the first one is simple moving average. For the simple moving average and share price relationship in the chart above, which give a buying signal because the share price is above the simple moving average line, the investor should choose to buy the stock at 14.04 ringgit Malaysia on 17 January 2023. For the second one is Bollinger Bank. 
Thus, according to Ajinomoto Company chart analysis, the selling signal occur when the Bollinger Bank above the share price, requiring the investor to sell their stock. The next one is the value of moving average Collinger's time is 0 0.549 which is above the value signal line 0 0.528 means buying signal. Next is rate of change. On 17 January 2023, rate of change was 4.5% which is overbought and the investor should be prepared to sell the stock because the share price is expected to decrease in the future. For the last one is the stochastic indicator is 46.2% on 17 January 2023 which indicate overbought stock and a selling signal. As a recommendation for Ajinomoto Company, according to a press release, Ajinomoto Company and CJ Group, which is its subsidiaries, handle import and sale of feed use amino acid tertofen products, have reached an agreement to end patent litigation in Germany. This settlement was reached on 17 January 2023. The ongoing German lawsuit has been dropped after Ajinomoto Group and CJ Group reached a deal. The patent held by the Ajinomoto Group are still enforceable and legitimate. 3 out of 5 indicators exhibit a selling signal based on the research above using all the indicators. Therefore, because the unstable situation from Ajinomoto company, the best option for an investor is to sell the stock in order to prevent further losses. Next is Bursa Malaysia. Bursa Malaysia is an exchange holding company incorporated in 1976 and leased in 2005, one of the largest companies in Asia. Bursa Malaysia helps over 900 companies raise capital whether through the main market for established large cap companies, the S market for emerging companies of all size or the lead market for up and coming SME companies. As an inclusive marketplace, Bursa Malaysia provides easy access to many investment products and services, connecting domestic and foreign market participants to all types of opportunity to help them to expand or invest with impact. Bursa Malaysia diverse product range including equities, derivative, offshore and Islamic assets. For indicator Bollinger Bank, according to the an analysis of the Bursa Malaysia chart, a selling signal was occurred on 18 January 2023 as a result of Bollinger Bank being higher than the share price. In order to maximize their return, the investor need to sell their stock at that time. For simple moving average, Simple moving average is to measure the number of period in the range. The SMA for this stock is greater than the share price. So the selling signal is displayed. In a bearish situation, the investor need to sell their stock at price of $6.65. Next indicator is MACD. Trader use MACD to see the peak of bullish or bearish momentum to establish entry and exit point for trades. As we can see from the chart above, the MACD was 0 0.084 on 18 January 2023 which is below than the value of signal line which indicates a selling signal. Then for the rate of change, ROC for this company is negative 0.7% on 18 January 2023, which is oversold. Because of this, it anticipate that the share price will rise in the future. So the investor should be ready to purchase the stock. Then for the rate of change, ROC for this company is negative 0.7% on 18 January 2023, which is oversold. Because of this, it anticipate that the share price will rise in the future. So the investor should be ready to purchase the stock. 
according to the company Bursa Malaysia, on 18 January 2023, the stochastic indicator is at 18.2%, which is lower than 20, which indicates a buying signal. For recommendation, there are three out of five stock that indicate a selling signal using all indicator to establish the buying or selling signal. According to the news of Malay Mail, Bursa Malaysia and lower today on continuous selling in selected industry product and services, telecommunication and media counter despite regional market closing mostly higher. Next is Tenaga Nasional Berhad, which is known as TNB. TNB is a Malaysian multinational electricity company and the only electric utility company in Peninsula, Malaysia and also the largest public listed power company in South East Asia. For indicator Bollinger Bank, according to the company analysis of Tenaga National Berhad, a buyer signal occur on 16 January 2023 because the Bollinger Bank is below than the share price. So it required the investor to buy the stock. For simple moving average, from the chart above, it show a buying signal because the simple moving average line is lower than the share price on 16 January 2023. So the investor should prepare to buy their stock at the price of $9.53. For indicator MACD from the chart above on 16 January 2023, MACD was 0.119 which is below the value of signal line. It indicate a selling signal and it is in bearish scenario. For rate of change of this company, it is negative 1.9% which means it is oversold on 16 January 2023 and because of it, it anticipate the share price will increase in the future. So the investor should be ready to buy the stock. The last indicator for this company is stochastic. From the chart above, we can see the stochastic for this company is 66%, which is more than 20%, but it is still not more than 80%. So we consider we should hold the stock and decide in the future to whether to buy or sell it. For recommendation, based on the analysis above, I have choose the buying signal since 3 of 5 indicator line indicate to buy the stock. So the investor need to buy their stock at that time. On 16 January 2023, the investor must purchase their equities. If the market price decline, they may sell the share again. Based on the news of each market on 16 January, Tenaga National Berhad TNB high receivable should is moving forward on the back of higher electricity. Okay, for the last stock which is pet gas. Pet gas is the name of Petroleum National Berhad Shariah Compliance Stock Trading in Bursa Malaysia. Petroleum National Berhad is a famous Malaysian gas infrastructure and utility firms that are nationalized in oil and gas. Uh, and also popular with name Petronas. Petronas was established in year 1974 and wholly owned by the government of Malaysia. Other than oil and gas, Petronas also provide the automotive, marines and aviation fuels, lubricants, gas for cooking, heating and electrical power. Here we move to chart technical analysis on the chart nexus for the pet gas stock. The first uh, technical indicators, which is simple moving average. From the chart for pet gas stock, the simple moving average is below, which is 17.069, then the share price, which is 17.38. This uh, SMA indicator shows the bullish scenario, which is a buying signal to the investors and traders on 18 January 2020. Second is Bollinger Bands. For the Bollinger Bands, to recognize the short-term trend of the pet gas stock on 18 January 2023, we can see that the indicator shows the selling signal as the Bollinger Bands are higher than the share price. 
for the third is envelope. As we can see on the chart, the envelope indicator shows the buying signal as the share price is above the envelope line. From there, we can conclude that on 18 January, the traders make a good decision if they buy the pet gas stock to make it profitable in the future market. The fourth is a moving average convergence divergence, which is MACD. The value of MACD on 18 January 2023 of pet gas was shows the buying signal because the signal line is below than MACD line on the chart which is in bullish condition. For the last indicators, which is the rate of change, ROC. Based on the rate of change, ROC of pet gas stock investment on 18 January 2023, which is 2.5%, uh, where it is the below of equilibrium, it means that the stock was overbought and as for the traders, it is wise to them to sell the stock as it generates the potential sell signal. The recommendation for the last stock at guess, the traders and investors are advised to buy the stock based on the analysis on the chart nexus. There are three out of the five indicating a buying signal according to the Petronas press release on the 17th January 2023, Petronas signed production sharing contracts for the three clusters of discovered resources opportunity that market under the Malaysia bid round 2022 for more diverse upstream opportunities and may attract more potential investors from inside or outside Malaysia itself. As a full conclusion, we understand and more knowledgeable about this subject by do this group assignment to analyze and interpret the technical indicators from the chart whenever it is the buying signal or selling signal. This knowledge really beneficial to investors and traders to analyze the chart whenever uh, to identify, evaluate before make a good profitable decision in terms to maximize their profit in investment. That's all from us. Thank you.